Hello, and thank you for registering your child for our youth sports program. We're really excited to have you join us. A uh, program we're going to be using uh, for our youth sports leagues is Player Space. Player Space will be the primary source of communication for all youth sports leagues um, and really will act as a one-stop shop for your needs throughout the season. We want to give you an idea of how to use this program uh, to better your overall experience. Um, so following your initial welcome email that will be sent out by your sports director, uh, most of the communication that will be sent will be delivered via player space. Uh, your first email will look a lot like this with information about uh, the upcoming season and a little background information on player space. And towards the bottom of the page, you'll find several helpful links. We'll be going through each of those links today um, and walking you through uh, what they do and how you can use them. So the first link we're going to check out is visit your team's website. So each team uh, will have its very own site. Um, at the top of the page, you will find the uh, team name, uh, the location of the program, as well as the coach's information. And uh, below that, you will find the age group uh, that your child has been assigned to. If ever you need to contact your coach or message them directly, you can just select the envelope icon next to the coach's name, enter the subject and the body of the text here, and then just hit send message. Right on the home page, you will find what is called the activity wire. Think of the activity wire as a news feed. Uh, here you can post news, announcements, comments, um, but this is communication between the coaches and parents, um, parent to parent, parent to coach. Um, so we do encourage you to use that tool. Um, as soon as you log into the team site, I do recommend bookmarking this page uh, so you can avoid having to log in each time. Player Space also allows you to upload pictures and videos. Uh, to do so, you'll just head over to the media tab here um, and there will be a little drop down. You can select photos or videos. From here, you can choose to upload a document. Um, you'll just select it from your library and then hit start to upload. Uh, you can also manage your album so you can create albums and share uh, those albums as well. If you're interested in viewing the upcoming schedule, you will just go to the schedules tab and click. This will show all of the upcoming activities for this specific team. Um, so on it, it will have the date, the time, the activity, um, and other details such as location and the duration. Um, you can view this uh, like a calendar. Uh, if you're unsure of where a location takes place, you can select the location and directions tab and it will have details for you. If you are unsure of how to get to that location, you can type in your starting point and then hit the green uh, get directions button, or you can enter, um, or you can select the blue open in Google Maps button and it will pull up the image in Google Maps. Uh, you are also able to view the roster information as well on the team site. So I like to think of the team site as the central hub. You can get to anything you want here. Um, so the rosters are broken down into three levels. Players, that would be the children participating. Fans, those are the parents participating. And uh, the coaches assigned to the team. So here are all the children assigned to this particular roster. The second link we will uh, check out is visit your dashboard and manage your profile. This page is extremely helpful if you have multiple children participating in the same program. Um, on the left, you will notice the upcoming schedule. This is the combined schedule. So if you have two children showing, this will show information for both of their teams compiled into one place. And then on the right hand side, you will see the teams that you are following. So these are the teams that your children would be assigned to. Uh, you also have access to 
the activity wire on this page as well. Uh, to manage your profile, um, you will just head up to the top right corner and um, from here you can change your password information, set a profile pic. Um, we can show you how to do that. So you'll just hover over to that drop down arrow and then select account management. And then from here you can select profile pic, set profile pic. Uh, you can also update your information as well. Um, you can add a secondary email, an alternate uh, phone number. If you wanted to change your username or password, you can do that here as well. When you first log into Player Space, it will randomly generate a password for you. So I do encourage you to uh, set, set your own password, something that you'll remember, and bookmark the page. If you are interested in sending a message uh, to your team, you will just go to the uh, envelope icon and then go to view all messages and then on the left here you can compose a message. So if you know the uh, recipient's email address or their name um, you can go ahead and enter that here. Um, if you don't know their email address just type in their name and it will automatically populate that information with you um, and you can enter the subject line and the body of the text as well. The next link we'll be checking out is view your team's schedule. Um, if you remember earlier, uh, we were able to access that information through the team site. This is just a direct link if that's all you are interested in. Um, so just a little review, practices and game information and any special events for uh, this program will be housed in this area. If you're interested in viewing a PDF version or printing off the schedule for your personal records, you can do so um, by selecting this blue schedule button and it will open in another tab. On the first page, you will find the game information. Below that, you will find uh, practice information and any information regarding special events. And the final link we will check out is sync your schedule to your mobile device. So player space is compatible uh, with several calendars, Apple, Google, Yahoo, and Outlook. All of those are listed here. Um, to sync your calendar, all you have to do is hit this green subscribe button. Um, if you're interested in visiting the support sites, all of those links are listed here as well. Um, we'll we hope that you'll take full advantage of this program. Um, and thanks for your time.